Okay. So when I started this uh, channel, I knew nothing about mini PCs. I knew that I probably wanted one uh, because I wanted something that I could use maybe for a test environment, uh, you know, just to have something that was kind of cool, small, um, not a, a big desktop. Uh, so I, I started looking on Amazon. Uh, I could see, the, you know, the Intel NUX. I could see the ones from other companies. And I, to be honest, I, I really didn't want to spend the prices that I was seeing there. I really wanted to uh, keep it uh, keep it within something that if I decided that they weren't for me, that I could just kind of walk away from it. So I stumbled upon the HP mini PCs on eBay. And I, again, didn't know anything about anything. And just was sort of looking at the prices and the basics in terms of the, um, you know, did it have this kind of CPU? Did it have this amount of RAM, etc.? And my first one that I ever bought was a G2. And I got a really good price on it because the guy kind of wanted to get, you know, rid of it. And, but, and then from there, you know, started buying more and then, you know, started reporting on it. And, and then that's how the channel came to be. So I thought it would be good to talk about the HP Mini PCs for those that have an interest in buying one. Uh, or maybe they're helping somebody else. And so I just kind of want to go over some, some basics, some things to think about. And so that uh, you, you know, kind of go in with uh, both eyes open. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is that HP, a lot of their units have very similar names, but they're different sizes. So, as an example, you could look up and look up HP Elite Desk 800, as an example, in, in, um, on eBay. It's going to show a whole bunch. You're going to see terms like um, Mini, uh, sometimes DM, sometimes uh, um, SFF, uh, sometimes Tower, times Mini Tower, etc. Uh, small form factor, SFF. Uh, is basically it's 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 definitely bigger than the the uh, HP Mini. Uh, it can accommodate um, you know PC boards and so forth, but you know it takes up more room. The tower and mini tower, those are ones where um, instead of being you know uh, horizontal, they're 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 vertical. So uh, DM is just another term for desktop mini. So it's just kind of the same thing as DM, uh, especially the, the G1s. They, they, even HP called them the, the, the DM. And then later on, they started using the term mini. So when you're looking, make sure in your searches that you include the word mini so that, you know, that way you're actually looking at the, at the right ones. Um, for this discussion, we're going to talk about the five generations that are primarily shown on this um, a channel, which is the G1 through the G5. Uh, I'm not going to show a G5 here because the G4 and the G5 are basically uh, identical. So here are here's a G1 and G2. Um, these were the two generations that used kind of this uh, all black look to them. Very cool looking. Um, Kind of uh, retro-y look. Um, of course, <laughs> they weren't going for that at the time, but but it just kind of looks like that now. Uh, main difference: uh, the G1, the G2 came with the USB-C, and um, that allowed you then. And plus, they also redid the insides to make it easier for adding things like uh, uh, M.2 drives. The G3. And G4, G, G3's on the top, uh, went with this uh, black and silver look. You can see from the front, it, it's really 
identical. It's hard to tell the difference between the two. Uh, the G5, again, would look the same. Uh, main differences here is that the uh, G4 uh, allows for two uh, M.2 drives. Then, within a generation, there were primarily three kinds of, um, or three models. There was the uh, Elite Desk 800, the Pro Desk 600, and the Pro Desk 400. Let me show you those. So these are all G3s, but this is the 800, the 600, and the 400. If I flip them over or to the back, you'll notice the top two, which is the 800 and 600, look, they're identical, and it's the 400 that uh, looks kind of out of place, different. Um, the 600s and the 800s, really not a huge difference with them. Sometimes they would, um, you know, maybe the 600 would have a remote desktop, uh, excuse me, the 800 would, might have a little bit more in terms of vPro and remote desktop where the 600 didn't. But as far as for most uh, home users, kind of the same. The 400, this guy, um, more of a consumer product versus a um, corporate. Uh, they used, um, oh, I would say maybe slightly uh, um, less expensive uh, components. Uh, this wouldn't have, let's say, an Intel um, networking, but instead would use Broadcom or um, uh, Realtek, that kind of stuff. Then, <laughs> so not only do you have different generations, then within a generation, you have the three sort of models. Then within a model, you could have conceivably two different kinds. And let me show you that. Both of these are Elite Desk 800 G4 minis. Difference being, and a lot of times you'll show that, see that on the listing, this is what's known as a 65 watt model. This is the 35 watt model. And to make it more confusing, this uses a 90 watt power supply and this uses a 65 watt power supply. So you see the term 65 watt uh, depends on what you're talking about, but um, as far as, as the model is concerned, this is called 65 watt. The main difference between the two is that this uses what's known as a T processor at the end, and this is a, um, a non. So this might have an i5-6500. This might have, oh, excuse me, not maybe not 6500. i5-7500. This might have an i5-7500T or an 8500, an 8500T, so forth. This you'll notice has a vented hood. It will also have copper heat sink. All of this because this is a higher, um, uh, you know, higher end processor or, 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 you know, there's more throughput for it. So it generates more heat. So it needs the extra cooling. Um, this, of course, it's, you know, you, you're going to find the 35 watt the most common out there. Uh, they used a lot less juice. Uh, corporations, you know, trying to save a buck, they wanted to keep uh, the, the overall uh, power consumption down where maybe they might give this to some of their power users, etc. But just to know that even when you're buying that, um, for most folks, I would probably go with the 35 watt just because um, it, it's going to be easier to find the uh, power supply, um, the, you know, the various parts that you're going to need uh, on it. But uh, I've used both, but my day-to-day -day, um, uh, computer is always on a, a 35 watt. So... Now that we kind of get a, a, a basic idea as far as the naming, you know, the different generations within a generation, the different models within a model, the different flavors, then we can start talking about what do you want to use this mini PC for? Um, I can tell you that if gaming is one of the ones on your list, you probably aren't going, or, or I should say, you're, you're going to be disappointed. Um, numerous videos out there that deal with gaming have um, done videos showing, you know, playing stuff uh, on the, the various generations, even ones where they've added a, a GPU. It's just, these were not designed for gaming. These were designed for doctor's offices, for, um, 
you know, kiosks, for uh, just being able to, uh, you know, for, for tight spaces to get them out there. This way also they could, you know, replace them easily, etc. So they're not, they're, you know, it's, it's not a necessarily a straight consumer product which would have gaming. So if gaming's there, I think you're going to be disappointed and maybe put that to the side. Um, if it's spreadsheets, if it's, you know, all those kinds of things, this, this would be great. You know, word processing, um, it, it's going to work for you. The other thing you want to decide in or how important it is, is the operating system. Most of these come with some sort of Windows license embedded in them. Um, generation, you know, G1, G2, G3 are not uh, natively supported by Windows 11. You can install Windows 11, and I've got videos all about how to do that. I use a G3 day to day on Windows 11, works great. Uh, but if you're wanting to not have to deal with row regedit and um, ISOs and all these things, you're like, whoa, what is all that stuff? Go with the G4, G5, and above, and then um, you'll just have Windows, and and a lot of times they'll have Windows Pro, which is even a better you know a product, and it'll be all set to go. It may come with Windows 10, but you'd be able to get the Windows 11 um, uh, upgrade without without an issue. Uh, it's great on space. These units can either be um, set for, of course, the you know standard horizontal. Um, they do have stands out there which allow you to put them uh, vertically. Um, I actually, and there's a video on it, um, I just use some uh, bookends and a couple screws that screw into the vase mounts and that's, and I keep mine this way. You know, you can get the other ones, the, the stands I think run about t 10 bucks on, on eBay. Um, they are, uh, they're, for the most part, it should work on most of the units. Um, you know, you can kind of play with it. Um, but yeah, they, they work great either way. Um, uh, I, again, I kind of keep them this way. The only time stacking, like you can put multiple units on top of each other, you may have an issue if you go with the ones that have the vented hood as far as, you know, um, heat exchange. But you can also stack them, which is, which is kind of nice. The next question is, how much do you want to spend on these guys? Um, when I went in, I really didn't want to spend more than, let's say a hundred dollars, um, going into it. And that's why a lot of the mini PCs that I was seeing on Amazon were just out of my price range, you know, for, for, for just, you know, doing, oh, experimentation and so forth. If you take a hundred dollars and go on eBay for one of these units, you can do fairly well. The, the, the G4, G5, that's going to be a little tight. Um, you're probably going to have to buy the components separate. G3, no problem. A uh, hundred dollar G3 would probably get you something that's got the power supply, you know, 16 gig of memory, and you know, uh, Windows already installed and so forth. You can look for that. Uh, although again, it's not natively supported by Windows 11. Um, if you're willing to go 150, then you can probably get something you know, fairly good as far as the G4, G5, may, possibly even a G6. If you go to 200, then you, you get in the market of the refurbs and all that kind of stuff. My only problem with the refurb is that a lot of that is dependent on how they define it and, you know, how well they do a job of getting the stuff set up. So, eh, you know, you, you kind of think on it. Um, might be best to go the low end and if you feel comfortable adding the memory, adding the drives and then set to go. Now this assumes, of course, you already have, you know, a keyboard, a mouse, a monitor. Um, that's the other nice thing. These uh, will all natively support at least two monitors, sometimes three. Uh, I've got a video. I think I did five on, on one unit. So if you've got those already, then just getting the unit, adding memory is very easy, adding a drive is very easy. Of course, you're going to have to, um, you know, run through the install to, to get the, the windows set up on it. Uh, that might be more than most, you know, that folks might not be comfortable with. So getting one that already has it on there is good to go. 
I've even though, when I get one that already has windows on it, I tend to just reinstall. I don't know what they've put on there, how they've done it. I like to start out fresh myself. If you're getting a brand new unit, that's one thing, but a used unit with windows already, um, yeah, I'd feel more comfortable just uh, doing it on my, my myself. So then the next thing is, what features are most important to you? So let's look at this guy. Okay, so I've got USB-C. So I've got one USB-C port on here. Um, is USB-C important? Now, starting with the G2, you had USB-C. Um, before that, you know, didn't have it. Um, it's on the front versus on the back. You can get, like this unit, you can get what's known as a Flex IO um, adapter and stick it in here and then you get a second USB-C. This one's nice because it has power delivery. Um, I've used this with a one of those USB monitors. All I needed was one cable to set up. Um, the you know, how important is it as far as the networking? Now, almost, it, pretty much all of them have one gigabit ports on here. Um, if you need something faster than that, it, you're, you're a little bit out of luck because you're going to have to do some um, other kinds of mods if you want, let's say, like a 2.5 on here. Uh, a lot of them come with um, DisplayPort. That's kind of standard. Sometimes, some of the old ones even have VGA. HDMI is not kind of a standard thing that you're going to find on these units. Um, generally, you're going to have to do a, find one that has the Flex I.O. that has the HDMI. They don't have ones where it's just like a native port. Um, HP really loves its DisplayPort, so um, you definitely find that other word. I use DisplayPort all the time, but, but I don't have a DisplayPort monitor. I just get a, um, a really inexpensive uh, adapter or a cable, for that matter, that goes from DisplayPort to HDMI, and I'm done. And then that way, um, you know, it will, uh, the sound will go through it. Everything works works great. So um, you you don't even have to get the stand. But HDMI is an important one to kind of look for. Wi-Fi. So when you're looking at these units, oftentimes you'll see on the back something that looks like this. This is usually a good telltale sign that this has Wi-Fi, but you do want to check with the seller and either have them show a picture. So on, this is a, uh, a, a G1 unit. You've got your Wi-Fi card here. You've got your antenna. So you, you pretty, pretty much need, you know, this here. This is just kind of a covering, but it, it tends to be the telltale sign that there is um, a Wi-Fi antenna. You can also see here that there's that it's connected but you want to ask if wi-fi is important then um, make sure to confirm because not every unit came with wi-fi or it's been pulled out how about power usage is that important the later more recent um, generations actually tend to do better with um, power savings g1 not the greatest because it was the first one it's going to use a lot of juice, but the newer ones can handle it and, and you'll get, oh, probably, you know, sitting idle, maybe, no oh, 10 watts. Um, you know, they kind of, you know, work that all out as far as, you know, how long you're going to use it or you're going to go in sleep mode. You go in sleep mode, it's it's like, you know, one watt. I mean, it, it, it goes to pretty, you know, low, but, um, uh, and also make sure that when you do get these units that you get the proper HP power supply. Uh, don't get the knockoffs, it's not worth it because you can get a genuine HP that matches the specs. Uh, basically, a lot of times it's cheaper or the same price as any sort of knockoff, but make sure you get that. Hopefully, this was helpful, give you a kind of a you know basic idea on the, the types of units if you have uh, further questions, please leave it in the comments.